Members of the High Table, my respected uh, elder brothers, uh, members of the audience, uh, members of the media, let us say that you good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, actually, as the MC introduced me, that uh, the representative of Senator Ahmed Mohammed Mukaiti, His Excellency, the former governor of the United States. Just last night, he sent his PA invitation card to me that I should present him at this very important occasion. So he asked me to extend his apology for not being in person. He would have loved to be here in person, but we are all aware that Thursday. It's part of their sitting days, uh, and presently they are busy with the issue of budget details. So, because of all these uh, national assignments, uh, he could not make it in pass, but asked me to stand in for him. Uh, secondly, he also asked me to extend his. Uh, just wishes to the organizers of this very important forum and uh, ask me to assure you that he is with you in spirit and uh, he supports the organizers of also this uh, forum. Nevertheless, when I look at the invitation card, I come to the understanding the, the reason for the choice of Ahmed Mohammed Mokaifi to chair the the session. Uh, because I looked at the topics, I lighted on the invitation cards and the caliber of the source persons. And uh, looking at the present uh, also situation we are in the country, uh, I think the choice of him to chair the way this kind of forum is, uh, is timely and is wisely because of his past experience. Uh, I, I definitely know that maybe that was what informed the organizers of this occasion to uh, select him to come and share the, the occasions. But nevertheless, let me make some few remarks. Uh, by bringing some of His Excellency, the distinguished Senator, experience in this regard and in most of the topics that are going to be discussed, and I will definitely our resource persons will do justice to the topics. Senator Ahmed Mohammed and he was faced with a lot of challenges which were attacked, quote me right, which were attacked religious ethnic conflicts. But uh, in reality, some of them were not religious or ethnic uh, conflicts but they were as a result of many, 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 many different factors. The crisis in Kampuna erupted during this uh, period of stewardship as a result of political manipulation and whatever, but religion and ethnicity were only used as tools that fired the whole crisis. This is a reality. I'm talking because I was part of the government. But nevertheless, Makarifi did not waste up and thinking that maybe it was work of opponent or opposition or whatever. He was proactive because he engaged different segments of society into dialogue, into consultations, and many relations came up. Some of the reasons were lack of infrastructure, people were not even happy with what government was doing. Some of the problems was the feeling of marginalization by certain groups of people. Some elements of religion was mischief religious sentiments. But all, all these problems came up and then that problem was triggered by the use of all these different uh, agitations and whatever. 
But God so kind for him by engaging different segments of society, he was able to tackle the problem to some extent. I cannot say that he finally brought the whole problem to an end. And that was what informed him immediately. For physical security, I told you that he was proactive. For physical security, he was able to build different response, quick response outposts which helped to restore the confidence of people that, yes, government is in place. Secondly, through engagement and whatever, <coughs> a religious harmony committee was put in place, which is still working. Since it was time a religious problem, so there should be a forum where religious leaders and different Facebook should meet and discuss their problem. And that was put in place and it's still working. Whether there is problem on the ground or no problem on the ground, that committee meets once. They come, they meet, they share ideas. People who eat at all do not even come to sit together. They were brought under that umbrella. The creation of the boats that had been a field of marginalization, chiefdoms were created, development areas were created, the creation of Sharia uh, uh, and, uh, and, and, and customary courts, how to tackle all these different challenges. And that was why during his period he was able, he was able to bring the problem to a, a, a kind of uh, uh, stabilized situation. So what I'm trying to I said I'm just sharing his little experience. Uh, and because looking at the topics that we'll be talking of ethno, religious, and whatever conflict. So uh, what I'm trying to tell this audience is that it has become a reality that as far as we're concerned, that we don't have anything that we can tag as a religious or ethnic conflict. What I, I come to understand we have Elites and politician conflict for power, mostly being you, uh, triggered by the use of religion and, and ethnicity to confuse the people. That is my candid belief. And unless and until we begin to tell ourselves the truth, definitely we will continue to mislead the followers, to mislead the, 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 the dumb students who are suffering. Let me give you an example. Those who are, who are crying for neglect and lack of infrastructure, when the country was able to provide roads, water, electricity, they were quiet. Even the opposition wanted, you, wanted to use it as political uh, propaganda. They could not achieve anything. They could not achieve anything. I think in the second tenure, what the opposition was just trying to do was to say, OK, you can't fault the administration if he has provided uh, infrastructure, but it was hostile. But the people in the village who benefit from road is not talking of the cost of the project. It doesn't matter how much was spent, but in reality, night is in his village, road is in his village, and he is living peacefully. And that improved his economic and social standard. I'm not going into details of what our lecturer will say because I know they are more knowledgeable in this, but with my little experience of what is happening, definitely I feel, I should tell this from that, uh, I think we begin to tell ourselves the truth. Here in Delhi, we gather here, we talk, papers are presented, issues are brought to the fore, but to implement them and deal with the matter headlong, uh, that is the problem. So the wish of Senator Mukherjee is that those that uh, the organizers, the participants, is his prayer and plea that whatever we are going to learn here should be put into practice. And it is only by so doing that we will move our society forward. I was talking to the uh, guest lecturers, one who were there in the BIP, 
I say, happily you convince me that we have ethnic and religious problem in this country or in our, in our community. Because I, I came off from a, 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 a village where we have the traditional believers and we have Muslims. And one thing I, 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 I grew up to see is that the Imam house was just very near to the, the shrine of the traditionalist. And there was no day they fought with one another because I'm a Muslim or you are a traditionalist. They have never fought because they respect one another. They, they have one day that they, they celebrate the traditionalist. A week before the event, that is the one we call Maduro. Before the event, they will announce to the Muslim, please, our brothers, you know, we are having a yearly event on so so day. Please keep up the street. And the Muslims will comply. Nobody attack any Muslim and prevent him from going to the mosque. Have we declared any Christian or Muslim market in Nigeria? Have we declared? No. Okoko is looking for Muhammad to buy a property from him. Eh? Isn't it? Yeah. And Muhammad is looking for Gabriel to come and buy from him. For survival. Why are we full of ourselves? So our problem is we the elites and the politicians who are misguiding our people. And it's better we tell ourselves the truth. If not, we are living in time bomb. We are living in time bomb. Because time will come whereby the youth we are using, the, 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 the illiterates we are using, they will come to understand from us that we are just telling them lies and they will revolt against us. Our civil service has been bastardized. People are thinking of ethnicity. People are denied promotion because of religion or ethnicity for selfish interests. People sit down to look what if people are appointed, how many cases, how many Muslims do we have? No matter whether that Muslim will go up or fall badly. And we are suffering from the action and inaction of most of these people who are appointed as higher uh, in the position of poverty. Has any of our religion, either Islam or Christianity, teach us not, not to behave well? Or if we are in the name of affairs and authority, we do what we like? Our religions, both religions, guide us and teach us to be good to one another. So without much ado, I thank you very much, and I still want, again, to extend the best wishes of the Tamil We thank you and God bless.